Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie. I make pregnancy, motherhood, and lifestyle videos. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and that bell so you get notified every time I make a new video. Today I'm making my 33 week video. I have a few notes here because it's hard to remember. First of all, I've been sleeping like what I consider too much. I, like, I literally sleep like 10 hours a day, sometimes 12. Like I'll wake up and then I'll just still be tired and go to sleep and it's hard for me to get to bed early especially because I'm like I don't know my brain is just always going lately also I've been thinking a lot about I've been getting really paranoid about going into early labor because I've been getting the Braxton Hicks more frequently lately and um, I'm just afraid of it I have anxiety in general so it's something that's on my mind a lot recently I haven't talked about this before but I have my boobs pierced and my piercer suggested, because I want to, to breastfeed, she suggested that I um, get tapers and stick them through a couple times a day to help keep the holes open. But I've done a lot of research and stuff and it seems like that's probably not going to work or help. So at this point I'm just thinking about taking them out because I'm really far along and they've been irritated still. Like, not super bad, but still irritated to the point where I wouldn't want to breastfeed with how they are right now. So, I'm going to be taking those out, which is super sad. I hope one day that I can get them done again, but if I can't, that's okay. I would much rather breastfeed than anything else. Um, I also started writing down a bit about my birth plan, but this is my second baby, and I know that things don't go like how you want them to go generally or how you plan for them to go. And I don't need anything to be super specifically a certain way. Like I really, um, I know that the doctors and nurses or whatever are going to do their, going to do their best with making the right decisions for me. So considering that I've had retained placenta before, I'm going to go with the epidural. I'm just gonna suck it up and do that because I don't want them to have to manually extract it and me be able to feel it. When I had Lonnie, I had the epidural and they had to manually extract it and it was fine because I could not feel a thing, but I'm not trying to feel all that. If I can do a walking epidural, I think that I'd like to do that. I'm not sure, to be honest. I mean, whichever. I want to be able to move around, but if the regular epidural works better, then I might just go with that. For my support team, I want to have obviously my boyfriend there with me and then his sister if I'm not feeling great, like if I start having a panic attack and a lot of anxiety since it is still COVID time, you're only allowed to have one person with you, but I'm going to a really small hospital and maybe hopefully they can work with me on that if I'm still not feeling comfortable enough. I would like help with nurses assisting me with birthing positions. I've looked up some positions um, on spinning babies, but it's like hard for me to remember what is going on. I also have a feeling that's going to be a relatively quick birth, but I don't know. I don't want them to use a vacuum or forceps or anything. I would prefer to just push that bad boy out, you know what I'm saying? I don't want a c-section unless I have to. I'm fine with them breaking my water. I hear it's like a little uncomfortable but I'm literally going to be in labor so whatever. I also don't think they're going to have to break my water because that was the first thing that happened when I went into labor with Lonnie. Like I literally, my water broke, I went to the hospital and I had to be induced. So I feel like I'm not going to have any issue with my water breaking, but I guess we'll see. If I do end up needing to have a c-section, then I want to do skin to skin contact like right away. You know, I want to be able to hold him and stuff like that. I don't really know how c-sections work or anything, but I'm planning on breastfeeding. So if I can breastfeed, I'd like to breastfeed, but I'm assuming you're like laying down when you get a c-section. So I don't know about all that. I just want them to get rid of the placenta. I don't want to encapsulate it. I don't want to take it home. I just do not care about that, especially since my placentas hate me and like to get stuck inside of me. The cord blood, if it's free to donate it, then maybe I'll donate it. I don't know how much it costs to have it banked for yourself, 
but if it's not like super pricey, which I honestly doubt that it won't be super pricey, I would like to keep it, you know, for, for my son. But yeah, I want to exclusively breastfeed, I want noises kept to a minimum, and I want them to like be considerate of my hoo-ha area because I know that they're all used to it and that's fine, but um, I'm not going to know like everyone who's around, you know what I'm saying? So I like would just like them to be a little bit considerate about it. I know that I'm giving birth, so like no pressure, just don't be like careless about my hoo-ha being out there. Also... I've been, it's been like really hard to get comfortable in bed, it takes me like an hour now and in my last video, in a couple of my last videos, I talked about how I have the lower back pain. It's not sciatica, I know that because it's not like a random thing that happens, it doesn't just happen so, sometimes. It's literally I can always feel the pain from my nerve being pinched, like that's definitely what it is. Yeah, that really is not fun at all. Super uncomfortable. I can't wait to have this baby. I mean, obviously I want to wait like a few more weeks. <laughs> at least I want to be a few more weeks before he decides to come. But I really, I'm just excited to hold him and for this to stop and to be able to start like exercising comfortably again and all that stuff. I'm very excited for that. I haven't gotten any freezer meals done. It's getting to the point where I think that I'm not going to get them done because I'm just so tired all of the time. I have in my bedroom a mini fridge, which is the cutest mini fridge ever, by the way. I will definitely show you guys that in a future video, but it is so freaking cute. It has a freezer and a fridge part, like two separate doors, and it's really roomy, and I just love it. It's almost like a medium fridge because it's not that mini. I got some packages in the other day and I have some more coming in today and I'm going to be unboxing those and talking about what I got in my next video. So definitely check that out. I will, I'll put it in a card up here or something. Hello, do you want to say hi? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. That's Lonnie. She's watching TV while I do videos because she is a great little girl and I love her. My boyfriend's sister keeps having dreams about me giving birth, which is honestly so cute. Like, it makes me so happy knowing that she thinks about me enough to be dreaming about me giving birth, like, multiple times. She said that, well, I had told her that I gave birth to Lonnie when I was 37 weeks and 4 days, and so I think this one is also not going to make it to his due date, which is okay as long as he's born healthy. That's all we want. But, um, so she had a dream that I gave birth at 35 weeks or 37, she doesn't remember which. And then she had a dream, he was in my belly and he would like literally stick his arm like straight out, which is not possible. Obviously she said my belly was like super stretchy and whenever he did that I would like tap on it and I would go no, <laughs> which is hilarious. We're working on things in our bedroom because we went to the store the other day and we bought some paint to paint the bedroom because the color of my bedroom is literally atrocious. I don't know what we were thinking when we painted it like two and a half years ago. First of all, the paint job's not good um, at all. And the color is really, really terrible. Like horrible. Um, I'd say it's a vomit orange. So we're scrapping that and we're going with a light blue. And I'm sure it will look great. Like it will at least look way better than it does now. And that'll be really comforting for me because I'm not trying to record a video in some super nasty room. I know you guys literally don't want to watch that and I don't, I just don't want to do that. So when the baby's born, we'll be recording in there, which is super awesome. But yeah, keep an eye out for my next video with all the baby product, baby products that I got. Some of the things that are in the video are things that were gifted to me and I will mention that in there. But yeah, that's it for this week. I have my 34 week appointment tomorrow which I'm super excited about because it's a new doctor, so the next video should hopefully be really good because I'm hoping this doctor is amazing. That's just what I hope. What is my camera doing? Is it really like focusing on me the whole time? I called my camera out for focusing on me the whole time and then it stopped. That's all that's going on, not much, so I'll show you my belly. If you're not subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. I make videos every week, sometimes multiple times a week, and I'm only going to be posting more. 
and click the bell so you get notified and you don't miss any updates. Click the bell so you get notified and don't miss any of my updates. Mama, you look beautiful. And I do have big hips, that's just a thing. It was like that before, and it's gonna be like that forever. My belly button's super funny because it doesn't pop out, it just stays super shallow. Don't know why, that's how it was with Lonnie, and that's how it is now. 